Well, we are at North Haven Gardens today. Hi, I'm Neil Sperry, and welcome to Dig In Dallas Fort Worth. We have a special program in store for you. I'll outline some of those details in just a minute. Right now, let me introduce a longtime friend, Leslie Halleck, who is general manager of North Haven Gardens. You're going to see in the next few minutes that this is a destination garden center. We're going to talk about spring into summer color. You may have some pots that look like this right now, and we're going to talk about how you can enjoy them to the maximum and then how to transition into summer. Leslie, tell us what we have. Well, what we have is a bounty of color going on. Texture, foliage, and that's what you want to think about when you're putting together a color container. You don't want to be monotonous. You want to shake things up a little bit. So there's a harmony here. Absolutely. You, you can pick a color theme or you can pick complementary colors, and then you want to provide some foundation, backdrop, things like this Dusty Miller that can be in the container all year long but still allow you to change out seasonal color. Something kind of neutral. Yeah, nice something neutral with mm -hmm. texture. All right. right. And then you may have another color scheme that goes into warmer colors mm -hmm. in the summer, for example. Right. Or maybe right. you like uh, maybe you like purples or pinks mm -hmm. or blues, all blues. Blues right. are hard to find, aren't they? Well, they are. And, and this particular plant, Lobelia, Technoheat Lobelia, this is going to be a plant that's available both in spring and in summer. You could mix that with marigolds or the profusion zinnias, and that's going to take you into the heat of summer. Now, let's say nice one of the container. nice things about container gardens, mm -hmm. and we're going to show the containers as the, sure. as the program progresses, you can change the container and you don't have to get the rototiller out. Absolutely. You can do it in five minutes. Well, container gardening is easy. What you want to do is think about, again, give yourself a foundation of plantings that mm -hmm. can stay there, and then all you need to do is change out with a seasonally appropriate color. This diacea, for example, great in spring and fall. In summertime, you can pop in the lobelia or the profusion zinnias, angelonia, more heat tolerant plant material, and it really doesn't take very much work. So our friend, Jimmy Turner, has a phrase for containers. Do you mind if I quote it? Go him? ahead. He says you want to have a, a thriller. This would be the mm -hmm. thriller. You want to have a spiller. Mm -hmm. And, and a you filler. want to have a filler. <laughs> right, right. And that really Exa is cool. Exactly, and we actually promote that here at the Garden Center, too. I'll it's a very easy way for people to put together. We also do containers for you to use as examples so you can come in That's and cool. copy the container That's and these cool. are just a few examples of those so we have herbs we have Absolutely. we have color we have we have black petunias black velvet petunias and we have this thing exactly. called phantom phantom this is in the same series as the black petunia um, that that's come out and those will be available again in fall so remember a lot of these springtime plants mm -hmm will repeat and fall. Don't forget about using herbs. This is bronze there's your, fennel. There's your spiller. Here's some thyme mm -hmm. as your, your spiller. spiller. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you can also harvest from your containers by mixing edibles and herbs in with your beautiful color. What about the soil mix? What do you do? The soil mix needs to be not too heavy, not too light. It needs you to be perfect because needs there's to not be much perfect. soil there. It needs yeah. to be perfect. Now, there are a lot of good potting soils out there. Mm -hmm. We've developed our own here at North Haven Gardens that imagine. we really uh, have had good success with. It's got a little expanded shale in there that mm -hmm. Texas A&M loves. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to have some core, it's going to have compost, things that are going to uh, provide nutrients you and You change aeration. it each time. Now, I realize you're going to take some of these out and right. replace, but every right. time you start completely over, do you start with new soil? Um, not necessarily. I think at least once a year, you're going to want to refresh that My soil. My old soil goes into yes. the vegetable garden or exactly. the flower bed. It That's how all, I use it. It yeah. can all Recycle. be recycled. Don't waste it. How about watering and how about fertilizing? You right. have a small soil reservoir. Those exactly. you have to be really attentive to. Especially in summertime. So in May, mm -hmm. as you're switching out with more heat tolerant plant material, you really need to be considering uh, your watering schedule. That's going to have to increase. There are a few products that can help you manage that water retention a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular product is called soil moist crystals. Mm -hmm. And basically what that's going to do is absorb water and then release it slowly over time to your plants. Core, which is basically cocoa fiber, um, is another product. As in coconuts. Coconuts, yeah. So it's a good renewable resource. Mm -hmm. it's, it's easy to grow. And that is going to also hold moisture close to those roots very, very what well. What kind of fertilizer? Um, well, we like our own NHG bedding. Really? Food. I imagine There's that. We formulated, but there are a so lot of So water soluble yes. and or time to release. Yes. I use both. We use both. What we recommend mm -hmm. is mixing in a granular, whatever mm -hmm. you like, that's, mm -hmm. that's for color or for, for pots mm -hmm. when you plant. And then follow up with liquid feeds and water soluble through the season to Perfect. keep those plants blooming, which is what you want. Leslie Halleck, General Manager at North Haven Gardens. You can see why I love this place, why I love the staff that she has put together here. You need to go to independent retail garden centers. That's where you will get the kind of localized advice of what will grow in the summer and what won't grow. That's important to you. We have a great program in store, Choosing Trees with Steve Hauser, my buddy. Oh my goodness, what a great program. Stay tuned. Today we'll be featuring cucumbers. I'll be making a fresh packed pickle with pickling cucumbers 
and a gazpacho style shrimp cocktail with a slicing cucumber. We'll be working both of these varieties today. Our pickling cucumber is smaller and has a rough texture. Our slicing cucumber is nice and smooth and perfect for slicing in salads.